A lot of people who follow Neville and his teachings want to try out the Sats technique for manifesting their desires, but only a handful stick with this technique for long. Why? Because the beginners often face problems in getting into Sats every time, and since they are so new to the idea of Sats, they cannot judge if they have really entered Sats or not. So many people worry about the fact that they might be doing the technique wrong, and that's why they are unable to see changes in their physical reality. Are you one of those? You know about how powerful this SATS method is but when it comes to applying to your own desires, you feel like you are unable to get a hang of it. Well, you will find answers to all your confusions right in this video, so make sure you take notes and try to implement them in your next SATS session. Neville refers to SATS as creating with imagination in one of his rare lectures and describes his SATS experience as this. Neville says that his first aim was to evoke a dream-like state while sitting in a chair. He says that the reason for doing so is inspired by this quote from the Bible. In a dream, in the vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth on men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he opens the ears of men and seals the instructions. Neville describes that this dream-like state is a fine balance between wakefulness and sleeping. If you are not drowsy enough, you won't be able to fully relax and get into that state. However, if you go all the way in, you risk going to sleep without imagining your desire. So this dream-like state borders on the edges of sleep, but it is not sleep. In the same lecture, Neville says that there are different states of consciousness between complete wakefulness, when we are going about our day-to-day -day affairs and complete sleep, when our mind detaches from the outside world completely. Between one of these states is what Neville calls state akin to sleep. If you are persistent enough to find this state and use your mental faculties to imagine your desires, you will impress your subconscious with the colors and patterns of your desire. Since your subconscious is always trying to match your outer reality with inner states, it will start working on making your impressed desire a reality. This is what we call manifestation. In scientific terms, this state is called hypnagogia. It is a transitional state from wakefulness to sleep. During this state, your brain frequencies are becoming slower and slower until they reach an alpha range. At alpha brain waves, you are totally relaxed and calm. An alpha state can also be induced as a result of taking multiple deep breaths or via a session of meditation. When your brain reaches alpha, the relentless chatter of the mind ceases to control your point of awareness, and that is when you can direct your attention to any goal and desire of yours. You must have heard, where the focus goes, energy flows. So all SATS is trying to do is to help you focus your maximum attention and energy on your desire without being distracted by mind chatter or outside noise. And if you succeed in keeping your attention at your desire for a while, you have done your part in manifesting. So to enter SATS, all you have to do is lie down at a comfortable place and pretend as if you are sleeping. During this time, you have to keep your attention on the darkness you encounter after closing your eyes. Once your eyes are closed, the visual stimuli cease to affect you and thus you can get deeper into your state. Try to breathe slowly and rhythmically while laying in your bed with your eyes closed. Within the next five to seven minutes, you will become completely detached from the outside world and this is the moment you will start seeing everything fluid in your mind's eye. The actual reality starts mixing with your imagination, and this state is an indication that you are about to enter sats any moment. Then within a minute or two, you will start experiencing vivid images in your mind and will become totally cut off from the outside world. You are in sats now. Now you have to consciously superimpose the image or scene of your desire onto the random images your brain is producing. This requires a little effort, so don't worry if you cannot get it right at the first try. Within two or three sessions, you will get well-versed in this. So you have to repeat your scene in your mind over and over again, just like a video plays on loop. I always keep my scenes very short, like 20 seconds at max, but vivid. The reason for keeping the scene short is so that you can repeat it over and over again in your mind without having to wonder about the scene each time. The shorter and simpler the scene is, the less effort you will need to put in to repeat it. It's that simple. Within a few repetitions of the scene, the scene will start feeling like your reality. This is because your mind will be totally immersed in your desire, and this is when sets start playing its magic. 
So getting into SATs is not difficult, but it requires some time and practice. One of the reasons most people cannot get into SATs is because their mind is simply too active. Maybe you had a long and adventurous day, so your brain is hyperactive. In such a situation, you need to make a conscious effort to slow down your mind before you start with SATs. A relaxing bath, listening to relaxing music, or chanting a few affirmations can help your mind relax to a level good enough for entering SATs. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.